Okay, so this last exercise is called Stop. And it really brings in a little bit of what we've already done, but it's a useful little acronym to just remind yourself. And it's again something that you can do very briefly, 30 seconds, one minute, any time of the day, when you feel like your kind of revs are getting up a little bit higher and you really need to just change gear a bit. So the S stands for stop and press pause for a minute. So you're almost imagining yourself pressing pause in the day, just for a minute. The T is for taking two breaths. So as you exhale, really letting go of any tension that you're aware of in your mind or in your body. So we might do that together now. So And letting it go. Letting your shoulders go, letting your body go. And breathing in. And just letting it go. Okay. So the O is for observing the things that are around you. So again, using your senses, looking at things, listening to what you can hear what's touching you, also thinking, you know, what are the kind of thoughts going through my head? Um, what are the kind of emotions or mood that I'm in at the moment? If I was to ask, ask you to do that, just very briefly, things you could see, hear, thoughts, mood, what would you say? Um, I noticed there's a yellow wall over there and some flowers that I hadn't really noticed before. Um, mm -hmm. And the hearing um, is the air conditioning still. Um, and I was thinking, um, how lucky am I to be this with you? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So it's, it's almost like just a little quick scan, isn't it? You know, you might even scan your body. Scan what's around you. Scanning. And the idea is to do that without any judgement. So it doesn't matter what you're thinking, it doesn't matter what you're feeling, it doesn't matter what's around. There's no good or bad, no judgment on it at all. It just is, that's all. Okay, so the next thing in that O is really choosing something that you want to focus your mind on that really is in line with your own values, with, with what's important to you with what's meaningful to you. So the P is proceed with the day mindfully but focused on what matters to you. So if you were to think of one thing, I'm sure there's a lot of things that matter to you, but if you were to think of one thing that really matters to you that you think, okay, I'm going to go into the rest of the day focusing on. I think being kind. I think that's what I'm, I just think it's a much nicer place if we're all kind to each other and I try and add my little bit to that, to being kind to the people I come across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's a, that's a great one, isn't it? Particularly in this setting, to just kind of remind yourself kindness is one of the things that I value as a person. It's one of the things that probably brought me to this work. And so, regardless of what else is going on or um, that I'm having to contend with in the day, I'm going to really try and proceed really keeping that front of mind kindness. So that completes the exercises in these videos. Um, there will be links on the internet to each of these videos. Um, and there will also be links to two different meditations. So there'll be a 10 minute meditation and a 20 minute meditation, just audio, that you can also click onto whenever you want to do that. The latest research shows that even as little as 12 minutes of meditation a day can make a positive change within the brain in a measurable and positive way. So I'd encourage you to have a look at those meditations when they go up on the, the internet as well. Um, there'll also be a link to a resource that I developed on self-soothing and grounding techniques 
And these six that we've done together have been taken from that resource. So there's actually about 13 different exercises um, within that resource. So have a go at a few, a few of them or have a go at all of them. And I think you'll find that there's probably a couple that you come back to again and again that you say, yep, that really works for me or no, that, that wasn't me, that's a bit weird or whatever. Um, these are the ones that I'm going to use and I can see myself using these on myself or using them with my patients. Um, Eve's now going to um, talk just a little bit about some other helpful apps or resources that you might like to tune into. Um, I'm just really going to endorse um, Bridget's resource that she's put together. It's fantastic and it's really worth having a look at. So I think if you were going to start anywhere, that would be the place to start. There are lots of online resources and it is, as Bridget said, a matter of finding the one that works for you. Some people will have accents that irritate you, other, other people you'll love their voices, so it's sort of finding what works. The Alfred Hospital has put an app called TREAT, which is specifically designed for healthcare workers and they also have a, a bit of a timer, so if you've only got five minutes, you can just put five minutes in and it will come up with a meditation for that's just five minutes long, so that's worth having a look at. Um, otherwise, I encourage you to explore the internet. Um, Insight Timer has a whole range of different meditations that you could look at. Um, Smiling Mind is a very popular app. There, there are a range of apps. If you, were, if you like sort of what we've done here, then um, there are a range of things to look at. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you for watching and we hope that you find um, some benefit in this for yourself, uh, for your own well-being during what has been a very strange and difficult year of COVID-19 and also that um, you find some benefit as you work with your patients um, and helping them through the stresses and challenges that they're encountering as well. Thank you.